Hi, Daryl again. Look, it's a map of Christchurch. Why would I be looking at a map of Christchurch? Well, you know, I've been thinking about the uh, the uh, tunnelled tramway, metro, light rail that they wanted to build in Auckland. They wanted to spend $14 billion. I was just thinking, like, what could you get if you spent $500 million or $100 million or $50 million somewhere else? You can't get much for $50 million. But, you know, say you're going to spend $14 billion, maybe you could build, I don't know, the same thing, but without the $10 billion tunnel. And then you could use that spare $10 billion or any small fraction of that $10 billion to build something else. And where would you build it? Well, you build it in other city, the other big city that doesn't have any metro network. Well, what would you build? Well, you'd build the cheapest metro network in the world. And you'd be like, how can you do that? And you're like, well, Christchurch, it's very flat, except for the bits that are hilly. And the other thing is, they've already built the railway line. And you'd be like, what do you mean? And you're like, yeah, you know, the railway lines and some of the stations, they're already there. So uh, what you'd do is you'd just buy some new trains. What kind of new trains would you buy? Well, if you just want to try it out, you buy some diesel... You buy some diesel units, but if you want to change from diesel to electric, you order order some that have make hybrid hybrid ones, diesel electric, which have the electrical pantograph so that you can put it on an overhead line. Maybe you buy one with batteries in it um, that can recharge when you're sitting at the stations uh, between runs or something like that. You know. There's lots of options, just, just look at the uh, regional rail project that someone designed for New Zealand. It's got all the information in it there for what kind of trains you could use. Okay, so, well, where would the lines go? Well, that's pretty easy. You just put them on the lines that are already there, and it looks like that. You could build this. Rolleston, Rolleston's down here in the corner. That's a, a big kind of suburb. You've got this place here where there's a few houses. I just like to add an extra station in sometimes. You've got uh, Hornby. Uh, and uh, another place here I never remember the name of. And then you have uh, a couple towards Christchurch City. There's, there's a couple built two stations in Christchurch City. This one here is the Christchurch Railway Station. That one there is the Rolleston Railway Station. And then have a couple more through, and you could go to Littleton. There's not many people live in Littleton, and there's not many people live in this valley. This valley is just known for one of those favourite things I love. There's a gondola that goes up the hill, so you'd build a station at the gondola that could also be used by the people who live in the suburb with the gondola station. That way when tourists are in the middle of the city, they can get on the metro train and go out. They can go out to Little Turn and, and go to some cafes and stuff and then they can come back and get off the train at the gondola and go up the hill. That would be called a tourist attraction and it would be quite environmentally friendly, especially if it was electric, because it would all be running on electricity. Um, so let's just zoom in a bit closer so you can see where it is. There's actually already a railway line here. This this railway line, look, there's, there's even a whole railway yard there. Uh, over, over here... There's the Christchurch Railway Station, which is there, but you would need a platform over here as well. You'd have a platform there and a platform there. You could even you could even put in a linking line between those two lines there, because this line, that's the northern main trunk line. The northern main trunk line goes all the way out of the city. It, it goes for two or three hundred kilometres north. And uh, what does that look like? Well, it looks like the north line. So the north line would go out from the corner of the city there. Remember that the main part of the CBD is over here where the, a lot of office buildings and, and probably apartments are being built actually. And then that goes northwards through the suburbs. You could put the station in the shopping centre area. You can put them out in these other suburbs. I think this area out here is called Belfast have a couple of stations out here in those suburbs and it can interconnect with the bus routes so that people can take a mixture of train and bus and then when you get further out of town because this railway line just keeps going 
Amberley is like the last stop where people kind of commute maybe towards Christchurch. But I think that people live, who live in Amberley don't tend to commute to Christchurch, but they do sometimes commute to uh, uh, Rangiora. So you could build that. I don't think you would build the line initially that goes up to Amberley, but you would build it from Rangiora down to the city. Because all of the railway line is already built, you just have to build the stations and buy some trains, and then if it becomes popular, you put up some overhead electric wires and convert the whole system to an electrical system. You might want to run lines that go from Rangiora to Rolleston, or maybe from Littleton to uh, Rangiora. It, I'm not quite sure what the right thing to do is. I looked at where commute patterns, and the commute patterns are largely along these lines. So if you built this network, then some people who live here would go two or three stops, four stops, and get off over here. Some people who live in Rolleston would come part, lay, part of the way to Hornby. Some of them would go all the way to the city. Not that many people who live in Rolleston would go to Littleton. Not that many people who live in Littleton would go to Rolleston. But it would be a, it would be an option. That that's quite a long car drive. I think that line is um, fourteen kilometres long. I'm not sure how I can get the information. I think can I click on the line? You, there we go. It's thirty two kilometres long. That's pretty far. That's quite far. You might want the stations closer together. You could build it and then work out where to put the stations by demand, or you could announce that you're going to build it, and then ask people where they would want the stations to be. Um, obviously, at major shopping areas and a few industrial areas, those are popular choices, and a few suburban areas. If you built this, and people kind of used it a bit, and you wanted to increase the number of people who were using it, well then, what you would actually have to do is you would have to add something else to the line. And for whatever reason, people love a line that goes to the airport. So you'd build a surface-based uh, tramway train. And you'd have it go through the middle of the city. And you'd have these two connecting points here where it connects to the orange line and here where it connects to the purple line. And that way people can come in from out in the outer suburbs, they can get off at that station and change over to a tram. If the tram goes past every 10 minutes, they can just get off at the station and catch the next tram that goes past. And there would be some people who would, you know, you might take the train all the way in and they got to get off and then take the tram a couple of stations into the city. You have, uh, you have the integrated billing so that whatever the complexity of however many changes you do between modes, you, you pay kind of one ticket price. Uh, that's the way to go. And what would be the point of this? Well, quite a lot of times I've been down to Christchurch for work and I end up uh, staying in a motel somewhere, somewhere basically along this area here, usually just in here, and uh, you, you have the access to the a place where I work, we had an office out here at the airport and so quite often I'd drive down, take the ferry to the South Island and go to the office at the airport but quite often I would um, stop to do work, I did work at the airport so uh, I would stay in motels that were nearby the airport here and uh, you know there would be the case that uh, even, even though I had my vehicle with me it might have been a good choice to just Take a tram to go to the cafe at the airport or take a tram into the middle of the city to go for dinner. You don't always want to drive every every time um, you're, if you, if you spend a lot of time driving like um, I did in that job. You might not want to drive when you go out and get dinner after a big day of driving. You might just want to ride on the tram if the tram's cheap enough. That would be a way of doing it. And then uh, what would you do to make the network better? Well, then you just slowly add more tram lines to the network. So what would that look like? It would look something like this. You might add this one here. Uh, this is a line that largely parallels the railway line, but it takes in the shops and buildings that are kind of more or less parallel. But it also, it also goes out 
it also goes out to the um, New Brighton. New Brighton is a place where you might go as a tourist. There's a there's a pier there. There's the beach. You might go to New um, to New Brighton and go out for lunch or a coffee as a tourist. And so having a tramway that goes from the middle of the city where you might be staying in a hotel out out to the tourist attraction of going out to the beach, that would be something that a lot of tourists would do. And I've been to a few cities around the world. I like to ride on tramways if there's a tramway because you don't get lost. I've taken buses in certain cities. It's easy to muck up which bus you get on and get lost in the suburb because you just don't know the lay of the land. Whereas a tramway, you know where it goes because the trams can't go anywhere other than along the tram line. And then the other thing that this would do is it crosses the middle of the city so that people that are coming in from the... Uh, uh, eastern suburbs there, they can uh, get off anywhere through the city, but also it interconnects with the other line. So if you wanted to go up here, you can you can take the sit you can take the tram into town and then stop at the station here and and change over to the other line. And then if that was popular as well, then you'd just build more. So um, you might want to add a, a line like this. Each, each line each line that crosses the middle of the city, you might not make the line go all the way out as far as I have, but each line, you know, you might you might just go from here down to say here, because the, the end of the line that protrudes into the residential suburbs is a place where you can collect up passengers and bring them into the city. And then when the tram goes out the other side on the line, the people that it's picked up from the city can be dropped off out in the suburb and the line can go both directions and you can you can build the the lines as long or as fully you can you can just keep you can start building you might start by only building like these few lines in the middle of the city because those are the people that are most likely to commute on those on those short lines but it also produces a network of very good transport links in the middle of the city that make getting around internally within the city really well. Um, makes that really good because I've been I've been in the city uh, as a tourist along you know I've been to Christchurch a dozen times or whatever, and you're somewhere you might you might be over here in this park and you want to go to a museum or something that might be over here, but there's not a good way of getting there. It's quite a long walk, and you're like, taking the bus is too complicated, and finding a taxi, you can't be bothered. And if there was a tramway, you'd just get on the tram. It's going to cost like $2 to go f from here to there, or $3 maybe, and you're like, that's nothing. You just So you just do it. Having a, having a tramway network in the middle of the city um, makes some sense. And what you would do is, if you're going to build these, you might build them out. I think I think there's a, like a some of these areas will have um, a shopping center or somewhere. Uh, like it's not a that's not a good example. I think there's something there, but you could build one that goes out through there. There's a there's a shopping center there. There's a there's a shopping center up here. Um, so something there's something happening there. I'm not quite sure where everything is. Here, this is the one I was looking for. There we go. There's a big shopping centre here. That's along that train line. You take the train and then swap to a tram, and that gets you to where you want to go. You can build the lines out, and you you stop them at somewhere like here. It says Burger Fuel. Looks like there's some cafes and restaurants there. Then you build the line out to that part when you first start building it, and that gets you to somewhere. You need a if you if you choose a destination at the end of the line. That's why airports are often a good, you know, the popular choice for when when you're building a, a network, because the airport is a particular destination. It, like a lot of tourists fly in and out of Christchurch typically, and so having a tramway from the airport right to the middle of the CBD along a route where there's a lot of hotels and motels. That's the kind of place that people would come in. If you've just come off a long distance flight, you don't really want to be driving as soon as you get off the plane. Getting a tram that just takes you on a line to your motel or hotel, you choose you choose the motel or hotel 
based on the fact that it's actually on the tram line. Like when I go to a city, I always work out how I'm going to get into the city to the hotel that I'm staying in uh, when I arrive. And I have a huge preference to not pick up a rental car and then just go and stay in a hotel for a night. You know, so you paying a, whatever you pay a hundred dollars a day for the rental car, and you're just like, great, the whole whole first day of car rental was worthless waste of time. It was just an annoyance that I had to pay eighteen dollars to keep it in the car park at the hotel. So quite often people won't want to do that. Um, so so it would it would look something like that, and then you just you just add more you just add more uh, lines. Um, if you if you build an outer loop that, that goes around a lot of the city, then it connects the extremities of the lines together and it allows people to take a journey where maybe you live in the suburb here, but you work down here. So you take that ride and then you get off there. And, and the point is, if it's much cheaper to take the tramway to go to work, then you will do it if the trams come every 10 minutes and you don't have to wait very long. That's, that's the advantage. Anyway... That's just some ideas. Um, as I said, there's there's a gondola here. So up this very steep hill here, there's a there's a there's a cafe. Where are we? There's a cafe up here, somewhere. Hopefully, I'll be able to find it. No, I can't. It's it's oh there it is there. There's a cafe here, and there's a gondola line. You can see you can see the poles that hold up the wires there. And so, if you have a stop, if you have a stop down here. Then you can get off the train at that stop and then walk, a, a, what is it, 100 metres or something to a couple of hundred metres to the gondola. That, that's, a, that's a nice activity to do as a tourist. That's a kind of thing you can do when you just have a spare afternoon on the day that you arrive or the day that you leave uh, Christchurch um, when you're waiting for your flight. You'd be like, oh, I've got three hours. I'll take the gondola out up the hill. And then I'll come back to and pick up my suitcase from the hotel and, and head home. You can take some photos. There we go. It's just an idea. If you're going to spend $14 billion, $10 billion of which is a tunnel, you could build an entire metro network in another city for the same price. I just, it's crazy. There we go. I think I've, I think I've made my point. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you in another video.